Let me quickly show you how does Nowbar work on Samsung Galaxy A56 5G. In order to use Nowbar, we need to have some actions running in the background. For example, over here I have the voice recorder running as well as a stopwatch. And these are example apps that are synchronized with the Nowbar. And the Nowbar is located in the lock screen. And it is over here at the bottom, as you can see, we have the timer running. And we can swipe up. Let me actually go back. Over here, we can change between these different apps, these different actions that are running in the background. We can pause, we can renew. Whatever options we have available, we can do them. We can also tap on the bar in order to find additional options or more information in general. So different actions can be performed depending on what type of app is running in the background. And this is like an additional tool that allows you to manage some apps, like I said, that are running in the background without having to unlock the phone. And it is also available in always on a display as you may have noticed, uh, but in this case, options are quite limited and for some reason it doesn't really work that well as well. You should be able to, for example, pause or start playing a music again or something, um, but first the placement of the, um, of the now bar is weird. It is located in a offset for some reason and we cannot switch between different apps. So. I'm not sure why it is like that, but it is how it is. Perhaps it will be actually adjusted or improved in the future. So what else can you do with it? Well, that's pretty much all you can do with it. Um, if you have a music player running, then of course it is quite useful because you can simply um, skip the song, you can pause the song, etc. You have these standard options available to you. So you don't have to unlock the phone to do something with the media player. And we can find some of these settings for the now bar by uh, going to settings. So let me show you. First, let's go to settings. And then over here, we need to go to lock screen and AOD. And then here we have now bar. And here is the list of all compatible apps. And there is no way to add new apps. They are synchronized and chosen by Samsung. Um, so unfortunately, you cannot add more apps into that list. However, it is still quite cool that, for, that, for example, the um, the Maps app is working. So some of them are quite useful. Um, sadly, like I said, um, the list is still quite short. We also have the Media Player and Current Mode, which can also be enabled and disabled. So if you don't want to see some apps from this list in the Now Bar, then you can enable or disable it. And you can also disable the now bar in always on display. So if you don't like the fact that the now bar looks weird in always on display right now, you can simply turn it off and don't have it at all, which I think doesn't really matter if you have it enabled or disabled anyway, because let's be honest, due to limited options, the now bar is definitely less useful than the now bar in lock screen. And that's pretty much it. This is how the now bar works and this is how we can use it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.